Karibu tena mpenzi mtazamaji ni ule muda umewadia ule muda ambao ulikuwa unahitaji kufahamu vitu ambavyo vilikuwa vimekupita hapo awali ambavyo vilikuwa vimezungumzwa na waziri wa afya. Na leo nitakuwa nazungumzia atakuwa nikuwekea zile kanda ambazo zinacheza moja, moja baada ya nyingine ikiwa ni kanda ile ambayo uh, waziri wa afya anazungumzia idadi ya watu ilivyoongezeka vile vile atakuwa anazungumzia ni ni kaunti ipi ambayo inaongoza sasa hivi na vile vile atakuwa anazungumzia alivyozungumzia kuhusu na siasa na vile vile uh, kupanuliwa mabawa zaidi ya sehemu ambazo atakuwa anaweka wale watu wametengwa isolation na vile vile kutakuwa nazungumzia jinsi alivyozungumzia waajiri na vile vile tutakuwa namaliza na governor uh, governor Kutu. Ila kwa sasa nataka tuanze naye. Hii kanda ya kwanza ambayo mnamzungumzia waziri wa afya kusema kwamba idadi imeongezeka na watu wanne leo waweza kupatikana na hicho kirusi cha COVID-19 na isikufikia sasa idadi inafikia 41 na ningependa uone alivyozungumza na alivyoeleza kiundani. In our situation in the last 24 hours a total of 69 samples from suspected cases of coronavirus have been analyzed in our various laboratories. Out of those, we have received confirmation that four people have tested positive for the disease. They include one Kenyan and three foreigners from America, Cameroon, and Burkina Faso. Kwingineko waziri wa afya aliweza kuzungumzia na kusema kwamba kaunti ya Nairobi ndio kaunti nambari moja sasa hivi ambayo inaongoza na idadi kubwa ya watu ambao wanaugua virusi vya corona ikiwa sasa hivi Nairobi inaongoza na idadi ya watu 31 na vile vile akielezea kwamba watu, watu wa kiume nazungumzia wana ndio nambari kubwa sana ambao wanaicho kirusi cha covid 19 ikiwa ni watu idadi ya watu 20 ambao ni wa kiume na vile vile idadi ya watu 18 ambao ni wa dada wa kike uh, nini wazetu wa kike hebu tazama hiyo kanda akizungumzia na kielezea kiundani of the four confirmed cases three are based in Nairobi and one from Mombasa consequently Nairobi continues to lead with 31 cases followed by Kilifi with six Mombasa with three while Kajiado and Kwale have one each 24 out of the 42 24 Waziri aliweza kuzungumzia zaidi na kuweka kiundani kabisa kitoa kubwa kwa wanasiasa ambao wanataka kuongeza nguvu zao za kisiasa kupitia mitandao ya kijamii kwa kutoa habari ambazo sizo sizo ambazo zinafaa kuwafikia wananchi na aliweza kusema kwamba eh, habari ambazo zinatolewa maidadi ya watu ambao wanatolewa kisema kama kuna idadi ambayo ilikuwa ni propaganda katika mitandao ya kijamii idadi ya watu 1700 amesema kwamba si idadi hiyo na amesema kwamba idadi ni 2000 hebu tazama alivyozungumza and to that effect it is really really wrong and is heartening for those particularly in leadership to continue perpetuating false information that have got nothing to do with the real cases. Trying to gain political mileage out of a disease is as immoral as anyone could ever imagine. It is the worst of what we can see in terms of political maneuver and it is wrong it symbolizes everything that is wrong with our society for instance we have noted that misinformation is doing the rounds in social media where a leader in the country is claiming that there are over 7,000 people in mandatory quarantine and while this may ultimately be the case, and even perhaps even more people might get into quarantine, it is simply at the moment not true. So why would you wish as a leader of society? It sounds like a wish. Why would you wish that 7,000 Kenyans should be in quarantine? And why would you think that the government is not telling you the truth. To hide it for what purpose? So it's, it's really disheartening. And for, rec for the record, we have 2,050 people currently in mandatory quarantine in 14 designated uh, places in hotels and government designated places. So it's unethical, really, 
for anyone, and more so, one purporting to be a leader, to mislead people for whatever reasons they may particularly have in regards to the fight against Kwingineko kwa aliyeza kupongeza na kutoa ujumbe kwamba sekta ya kibinafsi imeza kupata sehemu zingine tofotofauti katika county tofotofauti. Semu ambazo tokoza natumika kuwaweka wala watu ambao mbatika na icho kirusi cha COVID-19. Na akasema kama akalitoa mfano kwa mwama shule na sehemu tofotofauti. Ebu sikiza di sehemu zipu hizo na aliyeza kuzungumza kivuipi. Ebu sikiza kiundani. Fellow Kenyans, we want to inform you that we are expanding our capacity for the purposes of intervention measures, particularly in the counties. I want to take this opportunity to say that as NAC, we are particularly grateful to the initiatives of the private sector and other donor communities who are working with the government are achieving. The private sector, for instance, has identified various areas including schools, including air flight hangars, that can be used if the need were to arise. They can be used as uh, hospitals, isolation facilities, if we were to go that far. And let me make it clear that there is no country on earth that has managed to contain this disease on, its, on just existing health facilities. So we know that going forward, it is indeed very likely that our health facilities can and could be overrun by just the demands. And this is why we are saying this is not a government issue alone. The protection of each individual's life, the protection against this disease, is an individual responsibility as it is a community responsibility. Waziri wa Afya aliweza pia kuzungumzia na kuwatetea waajiri wa kuomba waajiri kwamba waweze kuachilia waajiri wa wao mapema kama saa moja eh, kabla kwa sababu waweze kufuatilia sheria na mkondo ambao ulitolewa na serikali kwamba watu wanafaa kuwa majumbani mwao saa moja. Hebu sikiza I want to urge employers as I did yesterday to kindly release their employees in time to be able to meet the curfew time of 7 p.m. If they do not want to allow their employees to live on time, then they should prepare accommodation for them. What they cannot do is to release somebody half an hour before, before 7 o'clock or at a time that they are so sure that they cannot get home by 7 o'clock. So if you cannot release your employees on time, please prepare accommodation. Waziri wa Afya aliweza kumaliza kwa kumpokeza Gavana Kuti na Gavana Kuti aliweza kuzungumza na vile vile kuwashukuru sana magavana wa County tofauti ambao wamekuwa katika msaru wa mbele mkondo wa mbele kuhakikisha kwamba wanachukua ile kipaumbe kwa hapa kipaumbele watu wa, 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 nini wa nitwaje wa raia wa county hizo kuhakikisha kwamba wako sawa kabisa na kuhakikisha kwamba hali inaimarika na kuwa sawa aliweza kuzungumza mengi na ningependa usikize kanda hiyo Kama wewe ukona ujuzi ya kutengeneza masks katika county ni muhimu county emergency response team ipatie local capacity ili tuweze kutengeneza facial masks, protective gear kwa sababu hii leo ni mafunzo kwetu. Sio tu tunaongojea namna ya kuepuka hii ugonjwa, baada ya hii ugonjwa Kwa sababu katika kila shida kun lazima kuwe na opportunity. Kwa hivyo opportunity ya kuamusha uwezo wetu wa kujitegemea. Hii ugonjwa imetufunza kwa sababu kama ni ventilators umeona kila dunia inakimbiza haitoshi hata. Even developed world hawana. Kwa hivyo ni muhimu. Uh, mpenzi mtazamaji na tumai mfarijika na umefaa mengi ya mbolu kwenye taji kufaa mkusena hili tokio zima kabisa la 
kirusi hiki cha COVID-19. Kumbuka hapo kesho pia utakuwa unazidi kufahamu matukio zaidi na utakuwa na Hilary Murani ambaye atakuwa anakicha anakufahamisha toka asubuhi mpaka muda ambao unafaa kufahamu kila kitu ambacho unahitaji kufahamu. Ni Televis Kip Korir, mpenda ni Tekin Real Bis ni majina yako wangu kutafutia sima ila kwa sasa kono siku mwanaso ndio mdala shawawa ila kudra zake Maulan tupatane tena panapo majaliwa Jumapili ijayo.